Well, the man accused of killing 12 year old Carlos Fernandez in Cloverleaf is scheduled to be arraigned this morning. 27 year old Terry Brian Rivera is now in the Harris County Jail. He was arrested by Border Patrol agents trying to cross the border in Brownsville. Reporter TJ Parker is live outside the criminal courthouse downtown where Rivera is expected to answer to a judge in a few hours. TJ. All right, that arraignment is scheduled for 9 this morning. He is charged with capital murder for the shooting death of little 12-year-old Carlos Fernandez, and it really was a team effort to finally arrest him. Between uh, the Sheriff's Office, Department of Public Safety, uh, and also the, uh, the Border Patrol, um, collaborative law enforcement works, and when we all work together, it becomes a very positive result, and this is a, a, an ex a great example of that working together. So this is video of Rivera being booked into jail after he was brought back to Harris County after Border Patrol agents found him and arrested him as he was walking across the Gateway International Bridge in Brownsville. Rivera was flagged for his capital murder warrant when he showed his entry documents to U.S. border agents. He is accused of shooting and killing 12-year-old Carlos Fernandez while he was sleeping in his family's Cloverleaf apartment last Monday. Rivera is the ex-boyfriend of Carlos's mother and also the father of the two little girls who are also in that bedroom at the time of the shooting. The case is still open and active and uh, investigators are uh, not finished with the case just because Mr. Rivera is here in town. The, the case is still open and we are still pursuing uh, matters into the case. So as we reported earlier, his mother, Alva Cornejo, is also facing charges for helping him escape. Again, Rivera is expected to be in court at 9 this morning and we will be there. We are live downtown this morning. I'm TJ Parker, KPRC 2 News.